Okay, this is a model of the liver, and there are four lobes to the liver. Seen here is the right lobe, which is the largest lobe, and the left lobe. We can see on the anterior surface a portion of the falciform ligament, and down here, wrapped up in the falciform ligament, would be the ligamentum teres, or round ligament, which is a remnant of your fetal circulation. On the top part of the, of the liver, you can see the bare area where the peritoneum was not able to go all the way around the liver because the liver is tightly pushed up against the diaphragm. So this bare area is where the peritoneum could not extend because of the contact with the diaphragm. If we flip our model around, we can see the other two um, lobes of the liver. We have the quadrate, which looks, quad means four, so it looks like it has four sides, and caudate, caudate means tail. Here we see this region where we have blood vessels entering and exiting, and the common bile duct exiting. This whole region is called the porta hepatis. And again, we can see the right and left hepatic ducts merging to form the common hepatic duct, which is met by the cystic duct, and here is the gallbladder. And the common hepatic ducts plus the cystic duct create the common bile duct. This vein here is showing you the hepatic portal vein, and this artery is showing you the hepatic artery. Blood will enter the liver for detoxification through the hepatic portal vein, and this is blood that is being carried from all the regions of the GI tract. Shown here on the model is the inferior vena cava.